Hello everyone, and welcome back to Old School RuneScape. We're still in HD, although I have toggled down a few settings very slightly because I was hitting like over 90% GPU usage on max settings, and that's not ideal, so I lowered it slightly. I think we should max out more in the 70% range now, uh, except maybe in extreme situations, but it's a little more manageable. Um, it's really, it looks just about the same. Like, the only noticeable difference really um, is that, like, there's no shadows right there. And other than that, it's pretty much, like, especially for YouTube, it'll look basically the exact same. But anyway, so yes, we are going to do the Shield of Arav quest today. I've been putting it off for a long time because you need two accounts. But, you know, I've revealed my main account, and uh, I I can just use that account as my secondary account. I joined the uh, Black Arms gang on that account, and uh, it's ready to help us out, I suppose. And uh, we're ready to start the quest, so we can go ahead and talk to Reldo here. See what there is to do. Hello, stranger. I'm in search of a quest. Hmm, I don't believe there are any here. Let me think, actually. Ah, yes, I know. If you look in a book called The Shield of Arav, you'll find a quest in there. I'm not sure where the book is, mind you, but I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Thank you. You're a terrible librarian. I believe it's this bookshelf. I had to find it earlier on my main account, so... No, it's around here somewhere. It's probably this different looking, obviously, right? That would make sense. Yep, there it is. All right, so we got the book. You can go ahead and glance it. It's by A.R. Wright, and we're not going to read it, but we will glance through it all. The reward for the return of the shield still stands to this very day. We can talk to Raldo again real quick if we want to. Okay, I've read the book. Do you know where I can find the Phoenix Gang? No, I don't. I think I know someone who might, however. If I were you, I would talk to Berek, the fur trader in the marketplace. I've heard he has connections with the Phoenix Gang. Thanks, I'll try that. I don't know if I ever said that guy's name out loud before. I have no idea how it's pronounced. Jeez. Absolutely no clue. Alright, so. I know where he is, though. Just ride on over here. It it really just does not get old looking at how nice the game looks. Like, I've been doing a bit of playing. I got woodcutting 80, mining 50. Uh, thanks to that last league, I actually knew where the Motherload mine was and did a bit of that. Not enough to get any of the outfit yet, but we're getting close to the first piece. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Can you tell me where I can find the Phoenix Gang? Not so loud. You don't want to get me in trouble. Are you sure? I might want to. So do you know where they are? I may do, but I don't want to get in trouble for revealing their hideout. Of course, if I was, say, 20 gold coins richer, I may happen to be more inclined to take that sort of risk. And the economy of NPCs is just crazy. Okay, have 20 gold coins. Okay, to get to the gang hideout, enter Varrock through the south gate. Then, if you take the first turning east, somewhere along there is an alleyway to the south. The door at the end of there is the entrance to the Phoenix Gang. They're operating there under the name of the VTAM Corporation. Be careful, the Phoenixes aren't the types to be messed about. Thanks. All right, well, we can go ahead and head on over there. We'll run into a familiar face along the way, I believe. Ah, there we are. A tramp. No, not really. That is not the familiar face that I desire to reach. Um, I think I am doing something wrong here. Yes, I am doing something wrong. Just give me one second. Alright, there we go. There's good old Kebab Mark II. He's level 49, so, you know, he's kind of a noob compared to us. But, you know, nevertheless, he gets the job done in this case, which is just existing so he can be our Black Arms Gang member. But anyway, um... I think this is the door they're talking about? They said uh, an alleyway, right? Uh, there is an underground area. Aha! Straven. 
It's been a long time since I've done this quest, so I don't actually remember the details of it. What's through that door? Hey, you can't go in there. Only authorized personnel of the VTAM Corporation are allowed beyond this point. Um... I know who you are. Really? Well, who are we then? This is the headquarters of the Phoenix Gang, the most powerful crime syndicate this city has ever seen. No, this is a legitimate business run by legitimate businessmen. Supposing we were this crime gang, however, what would you want with us? I'd like to offer you my services. You mean you'd like to join the Phoenix Gang? Well, obviously I can't speak for them, but the Phoenix Gang doesn't let people join just like that. You can't be too careful, you understand? Generally, someone has to prove their loyalty before they can join. How would I go about doing that? Obviously, I would have no idea about that. Although, having said that, a rival gang of ours, or theirs, called the Black Arm Gang, is supposedly meeting a contact from Port Serum today in the Blue Moon Inn. The Blue Moon Inn is just by the south entrance to the city, and supposedly the name of the contact is Johnny the Beard. Obviously, I know nothing about the dealings of the Phoenix Gang, but I bet if somebody were to kill him and bring back his intelligence report, uh, they would be considered loyal enough to join. Okay, I'll get right on it. Yes, this is very obviously a completely legitimate corporation. But let's go murder this guy. We don't really care about him, right? Ah, good old Kebab Mark II. I really should play on him more. I have not been using that account very much at all. Uh, not that I've been using this account all that much either, but you know. I use it a lot more than that one, even though that one's technically my main account. Not in old school, though. This is definitely my main old school account. Alright, Intel Report. I'm still not certain about having the item names on the ground. Obviously, it's not all of them, but there's some items that just show up. It's kind of annoying. We can read the Intel Report. Holy cow, that is some terrible text. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that or if it's the HD that's doing that, but, um... Yeah, it's about the dig site and stuff? Okay. I don't really know why they care all that much about that, but let's go ahead and climb on down the ladder. Alright, Straven. How's your little mission going? I have the intelligence report. Let's see it then. Yes, yes, this is very good. Okay, you can join the Phoenix Gang. I am Straven, one of the gang leaders. Nice to meet you. Take this key. This key will give you access to our weapon supply depot around the front of this building. Alright, I guess that's what we want to do. Can you go in this base? I don't actually remember. Oh yeah, you totally can. Alright, well anyway, what we need is the old... um weapons actually so let's go grab those ah, it's this closed door that makes sense you wouldn't need a key for an open door that would be a bit silly all right uh oh wow look at all these items they got. it's just gonna be oh it's probably the no not the treasure chest one of these crates i feel like i remember them being in a crate but i don't actually know i might not even be at that point in the quest really I don't actually know why I would want to be in here at this point. But we'll search all the crates anyway, because I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, well, I didn't find anything. Um, I guess I can just look at the guide real quick to figure out. Okay, he gives me the key. A chest in the southwest corner. Oh, I just need to go find a chest, okay. Oh, wait, there was the crossbow. It's literally just sitting on the ground. I should have read the text, see... I'm already ignoring the text because there's too much of it. Like, it doesn't need to be showing me these. I don't actually know why it is. I must have a setting wrong uh, for it to be showing me, like, leather gloves and stuff. It wasn't showing me bones. I don't really know what I'm doing here. But anyway, so we got that. We actually need to go in the base to get the half of the Shield of Arav, uh, which I did not do because I'm silly. And I have logged out, apparently. I didn't pay attention to the other account, sadly. But, um... I'm going to assume it's not that crate. That'd be a bit silly. It's probably the chest. Hey, they got grapes in here. Very nice. 
right. There we go. We got half of the shield. Good stuff. Now we can go ahead and head on over here. Come on. So now what do we need to do? Okay, we got the shield. We take my shield to the curator. But I also need to, like, give the stuff to the other guy then. I don't know. So, what do we need to do? Do we just trade these to him? I don't know. Like, the Black Arm Gang thing is talking about all sorts of stuff. Alright, we take half of the shield, and we get half of a certificate, and then we have to trade the certificate with the other guy. Okay, I get it. So, I didn't need to steal the Phoenix Crossbows? I thought you traded the Phoenix Crossbows to the other guy. I don't know. Are Phoenix Crossbows tradable? Yeah, they are. Huh. Yeah, I'm kind of confused here about how this quest works. I'm going to log back in real quick uh, to my other account. See, this is why I didn't do this quest. It's too hard to think about doing two accounts at once. All right, well, here we are. Uh, we got a thief next to us. So I guess I'm just going to try to trade him my crossbows. I don't really know why the quest guide talks about like having the character kill the weapon master. If I can just give them the weapons. I don't actually know. Well, I got the weapons. So now I'm going to go run him. I guess I'll follow him. So that we can kind of watch what's going on. So you guys don't have to just sit here while I maintain two accounts at once. I'm not going to swap over because he's running on the non-HD client. And he is uh not looking too good. Like, it's a night and day difference looking at these. Alright, well, we need to talk to Katrine. Now she's going to ask for the crossbows. Yep, I have the crossbows. Okay, we can now enter any room. So now I can go ahead and go on through this door. All right, open the door, please. Thank you. All right, now Kebab's going to be sad because he can't follow, but we got a closed chest in here. Uh, there, there's nothing in the chest. Okay, where in this place do they hide it? Is it in one of the crates? What's the guide say? Okay, um, look for a cupboard. It's in a cupboard. I remember it being in a cupboard now. Uh, where is this cupboard? There it is. Oh, it's one of those cupboards where it doesn't have the search option as the left click. So annoying. All right, he got the shield half. So now I think we both need to go to the museum. I believe that to be the case. He's going to do the following this time because it's kind of annoying to try to walk with his window when it's the small one and this is the nice big nice looking one. So yes, I believe what we do now is we take our shield halves over to the museum, get certificates, trade the certificates with each other, and then I can go complete the quest with this guy and he can just not complete the quest because I don't really care about him all that much. And who knows, maybe him having the certificate will be useful in the future if I want to do the, the quest on my Iron Man account or something. I don't know. All right, where's uh, this guy here? Mr. Curator guy. Welcome to the Museum of Varrock. I have half the Shield of Arav here. Can I get a reward? The Shield of Arav. Goodness, the museum has been searching for that for years. The late King Rold II offered a reward for it years ago. Well, I'm here to claim it. Let me have a look at it first. This is incredible. That shield has been missing for over 25 years. 
I mean, that's not that incredible, really. If it was 250 years, I'd be a lot more impressed. Leave the shield here with me, and I'll write you out a certificate saying that you have returned the shield, so that you can claim your reward from the king. Can I have two certificates, please? Yes, certainly. Please hand over the shield. Alright. Of course, you won't actually be able to claim the reward with only half the reward certificate. What? I went through a lot of trouble to get that shield piece, and now you tell me it was for nothing? That's not very fair. Well, if you were to get me the other half of the shield, I could give you the other half of the reward certificate. It's rumored to be in the possession of the infamous Black Arm Gang. Beyond that, I can't help you. Interesting that he said it as one word when everywhere else I've seen it, I think, says it as two. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Alright, so now I just need to quickly do the same conversation. This thing doesn't really make sense because in the end, even with the full reward certificate, they only actually give you half the reward value because they say somewhere in the game it says it's 1,200, but they only give you 600. So, yeah, I don't really... And like the whole two half certificates thing, it's just like it doesn't really make any logical sense why he would like agree to do that. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. But anyway, so what I need to do is I need to offer that for that. Accept. Accept. Accept again. And there we have it. Now use them on each other, and we have a full certificate. Hooray. We have brought both halves of the legendary shield of Arav. All right, now we can just run on over to the old Kingling and see what we get there. And I'm going to get rid of this other window. Goodbye, my friend. Two windows anymore. Though I've not gotten a logout message, which is kind of interesting. There it is. Man, that took like a minute. All right, King rolled. Greetings, your majesty. Your Majesty, I have come to claim the reward for the return of the Shield of Arav. My goodness, this claim is for the reward offered by my father many years ago. I never thought I would live to see the day when someone came forward to claim this reward. I heard that you found half the shield, so I will give you half the bounty. That comes to exactly 600 GP. Alright, well we got one quest point and 600 coins. Hooray. Very crappy reward for a quest that's a bit annoying, but you know, it leads to greater things. You kind of have to have the Shield of Arav for future stories. But yeah, that uh, actually leaves us only one free quest left that we haven't done, so we'll probably be doing this one next, I imagine. Get that out of the way. And then we'll move on to further quests. And of course, I will continue to skill, try to become a little less newbie on this account. I kind of want to go over to the Winter Tot. Um, because obviously the higher my hit points get, the more food I need for it. So it makes sense to get 99 fire making and all the rewards out of the way. Uh, but I don't know. It's like doing it for the league was somewhat okay because the XP rate was ridiculous. But I don't know how I'm going to feel grinding it out at normal XP rates. Uh, but I guess we'll see. There's a lot more things in this game I need to do as well. So that won't be the only thing I'm doing. And I might not even get around to it anytime soon. I don't know. But I'm definitely really, really enjoying the HD look of this game. It is amazing. And hopefully the main client can catch up to it. And maybe be a little more, you know, not laggy. I know, I think the Steam client is based on C++, so I would assume it would have better um, performance if they added these graphics to it. Than just hacking them onto the Java client. I really don't know. I'm just guessing here, but I feel like that would be the case. But who knows? It's going to be a long time until that ever happens, so we'll probably be living with this for quite some time. But I'm not complaining. It's still really good, and I think it's running pretty well. Uh, I'll have to watch back this video to make sure, because like it wasn't too noticeable the first time around either, but then I watched it back, and I could tell. Um, I don't know if that was the actual video or my test video I did, but... The point is, the frame rate is not always ideal. But whenever you're using up 90% of your GPU and 50% of your CPU and all that, it's just how it is. But yeah, um, it feels good to be questing again. I'm hoping to do a lot of questing and skilling and just playing in general 
Uh, I always get around to doing more of this stuff whenever it's cold outside because, you know, it warms up the room. Uh, it's not oppressive heat like it is during the summer. So yeah, I, I'll probably be getting a lot done, hopefully over the next few months. I'm, I'm hoping for it, at least. I'm going to try, you know. If we're lucky, maybe we could even get like our first 99 within the next few months. Although that would be a lot of effort, whatever skill I choose, whether it's woodcutting or some other skill. I remember my grind for woodcutting back in the day, chopping ivy, which we don't even have in this game. So, yeah, I don't know if that's realistic or not, but there's a lot of things going on in this game, too. Uh, the League, I guess, I don't know if it had happened as of the last episode, but the uh, Third League did get pushed back to January, so I don't know if I discussed this, but... Um, I will almost definitely try to take a vacation, if not at the start of the league, at least sometime during it so I can play a lot. Uh, I don't actually know how much I'm going to enjoy the league, obviously, but regardless, we can expect uh, some great things from that, I hope. Definitely excited for another league, though, because, yeah, uh, the leagues have been a lot of fun thus far, and, you know, it gives me something to focus on, something... Time limited, so I can't just put it off as I am so good at doing. But uh, that's enough rambling for now. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will probably almost definitely be doing Below Ice Mountain, which will be fun because it's a quest I have never done before. So it will be completely fresh. But anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye.